Hey guys, in this video, we're going to talk about the missing nutrients. Okay, what are the missing nutrients? Trace minerals. What are trace minerals? Trace minerals are those minerals needed in much smaller amounts, usually below 100 milligrams. Okay, so that would be like chromium, zinc, copper, selenium, iodine, cobalt. Versus other minerals you need in larger amounts like potassium, calcium, magnesium. You need those in much larger amounts. Um, so what do trace minerals do? They basically help you make proteins work in your body. Okay, so in order to make hair, nails, skin, hormones, tendons, ligaments, disc, bone, and muscle, you need trace minerals. And there's a lot of deficiencies uh, that can occur with like even chromium. You can start having a blood sugar issue. Chromium helps blood sugars. Zinc is very, very important in your immune system and also putting viruses back in remission and even skin issues, preventing skin issues. Copper, very important in adrenal health, hormone health, cortisol, stress hormone. Uh, selenium is really good for the liver in the detoxification process. Iodine, you think you might need that for the thyroid? Cobalt for the blood, as in building B12, okay? And so the type of minerals that I recommend are plant-based trace minerals, okay? Why? Because plant-based trace minerals are 15,000 times smaller than other minerals like it's called elemental or salt-based minerals. Like you wouldn't necessarily want to go into the dirt and take a spoonful of dirt and consume that. That would be elemental. Normally what happens is the plant absorbs the mineral from the earth, pulls it in, converts it into a plant-based mineral where you can consume it. But if you actually buy minerals at the store, like calcium carbonate and some of these other minerals that they're selling, they're not plant-based. They're elemental. So that's why you probably have a hard time absorbing them. This is 100% absorbed. This is probably, if you're lucky, 4 or 5% absorbed. So, and it has to do, if you've ever taken a chemistry class, it has to do with the way the minerals are uh, bound up. There's certain bonds that connect them. Plant-based minerals have covalent bonds, easy to break. Elemental have ionic bonds, really hard to break up, so they're not well absorbed. You also need a very acidic stomach to absorb minerals in general. So if you have a heartburn, chances are you don't have enough acid to pull it in. And as you age, you lose your stomach acid. So a little bit of apple cider vinegar with water each day will help you absorb minerals in general. Um, but anyway, um, Trace minerals uh, provide the cofactors for enzymes that actually, again, help uh, build up the body tissue. And the problem with, especially in America and other countries too, the soils are so processed and they're not replenished with trace minerals that you're actually missing a lot of trace minerals in our soils. So if a plant is grown on soil that doesn't have the trace mineral, it's not going to get the trace mineral. It has, to, it has to come from somewhere. So you're consuming food which is nutrient deficient, okay? Now, if you consume food, like on a volcanic uh, soils, where they used to have volcanoes like Hawaii, uh, the Caribbean islands, uh, Africa, South America, different countries, and even uh, places in America, uh, Philadelphia, uh, where, where is it, uh, Pennsylvania, or um, even in Wisconsin, where they had the Kettle Moraine, uh, all the the glaciers that came through and deposited all these minerals, you have a lot of farmland that's very, very nutrient rich. Okay? But in other areas where you're getting food, you're getting depletion of these minerals. So one of the things that you may want to do is get a supplement. Uh, this, the one that I use is the, this right here. It's called Trace Minerals. It's a plant base. This is basically 79 million years old. And uh, Jurassic period, which is uh, about 145 million years, at the end of that, uh, there was a, a lot of prehistoric vegetation that was preserved in the earth. So this is basically prehistoric plant life liquefied. You would take a dropper full a day in some water, it doesn't taste like anything, and just to start getting your minerals, and it's 100% uh, absorbed, and it has over 70 trace minerals, okay? Okay, so thanks for watching, and put your comments below. Hey, you probably already subscribed, but if you haven't, press this little button down below and I will keep you updated.